Coding DNA is the name given to the parts of DNA that code for proteins. Ribosomes make proteins using the information from coding DNA. Gene expression is the process by which specific genes are made to produce a specific protein. So how is gene expression controlled by the cell? Not all parts of DNA code for proteins. Some DNA is non-coding. The sections highlighted by these dashed boxes show coding DNA. Between these sections of coding DNA, there is non-coding DNA. So what does non-coding DNA do? Non-coding DNA plays a role in gene expression as it can switch genes on or off. So this section of DNA before the coding section can determine whether gene A turns on or off. In this case, it's turned on, but this section has turned gene B off. And the same again happens for gene C. So although this non-coding DNA doesn't code for specific proteins, it helps to control the genes that do. Mutations or variations in non-coding DNA can affect how genes are expressed. For example, if we had a mutation around here on the sequence, this would change gene B from being off to being on. Therefore, gene B is now switched on when it shouldn't be. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!